Hey guys. I've never done this before, but I got this really old Craftsman torque wrench. It's probably from the 90s. Never been calibrated. Um, I'm going to try and calibrate it. Never tried this before. Not sure how it's going to work out, but I have reason to believe it's out of calibration, primarily because I did a couple of jobs on small engines and I had comebacks because bolts came loose. Um, I've since bought two new torque wrenches, one Husky, this one was on sale at Home Depot. It was, uh, I think, 50 bucks marked down from 80. Really good deal. And I bought another 3 8 torque wrench on Amazon, I think, for 50 bucks as well. So um, I like this torque wrench. I don't want to throw it out. I don't even know if it can be calibrated. Um, maybe the first step is to look it up and see if it can be. So it's one of those clicker types. Looks like there's some kind of two holes there. I don't know if you can get a spanner in there. Let me look at it a little bit closer. Didn't see anything obvious on there. Um, I don't have a spanner to take it apart, so let's just see if it's out of calibration. Because maybe I'm just incapable of using it. Maybe there's nothing wrong with the torque wrench at all, even though it's never been calibrated. So let's take this brand new Husky. We're going to hook these two wrenches together to see if they clicky trip each other. I'm going to hook them up using a 3 8 drive. If you look at a, or grab a 11 millimeter 12 point socket, you should be able to hook these two together just with that. I'll show you in a sec. Okay, I got both wrenches hooked together like so. Again, it's 11 millimeter 12 point socket. These are both 3 8 wrenches. Both are set to 20 foot pounds. So watch and see what happens. Hopefully that I got this kind of loosely in the vise. So they're actually pretty darn close. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're both tripping at about the same time. Let's check a couple other measurements. I'm going to bring it up to 40, and we'll see if it does the same thing. Okay, both wrenches are set to 40 foot-pounds. So the Craftsman goes a little bit sooner. Not much, though. Maybe half a foot-pound, the foot-pound, somewhere around there. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth messing with. It's actually probably pretty close to being in calibration. Maybe I just had the thing set wrong or I didn't use it right. Maybe I had too many beers that day. So this thing to me is close enough to not want to mess with it and possibly make it worse. But that's a pretty easy way you can check a torque wrench for calibration if you have one you, that you know is good. And obviously a brand new one you would hope would be good. I can check it with my Amazon purchase 3 8 inch wrench too. Might as well try that while I've got this all set up here. I've been calling this an Amazon wrench, but it's a, actually an e-torque. So, got this set to 40 foot-pounds as well. Let's give it a try. Sorry about the, the cord. The GoPro battery went from 100 to 0, nothing flat. I'll try to get that out of the way for you guys. Alright, same test. Let's uh, set this to tighten. Same deal. The Craftsman, the Craftsman one is a little bit sooner. Craftsman went. E-Torque just went. So maybe it is a little bit out of calibration. At least it's consistent. I don't really want to crimp or clamp my brand new torque wrenches in this vise. I'm only doing it to this one because it's a thousand years old. Um, but this one is probably slightly out of calibration. So I might add a, a foot pound or two every time I use it. That might explain some of the loosening of bolts, but probably not. It's probably user error. So let's get this thing out of the vise and reset it to zero. I figured you guys wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't really care about torque wrenches, so I'll just kind of give you an overview of these. Um, this Husky, just looking at the bottom with that notch in there, probably can be calibrated. That probably just unscrews with a flat blade screwdriver. It's got a um, micrometer style torque adjustment, pretty easy to read. It goes from, I think, 20 to 100 foot-pounds. I like the ratcheting mechanism. It's uh, pretty fine. I don't know exact, the exact tooth count, but it's uh, it's definitely finer than the Craftsman, definitely finer than the E-Torque. So overall, it feels like a pretty nice wrench. Haven't tried it yet, but no complaints so far. It seems like it's high quality. I'll give you an overview of the E-Torque as well. Should have also mentioned that Husky does come with a calibration certificate, which I think is kind of neat. 
So it was calibrated in June of 2019, not too long ago. And it was calibrated up to 100 foot-pounds. So it was calibrated 20, 60, and 100. And it's actually very close to being spot on. Although its range is 20 to 100 foot-pounds, the micrometer on the Husky goes down to 10 foot-pounds, which I thought was interesting. Not sure why, but just the way it is, I guess. Unless I'm reading this wrong. Nope, it's 10 foot pounds. So that's cool. Nice to have that calibration certificate. I'm going to save it in the case that comes with it. And the e-torque does come with a calibration certificate as well. This one was calibrated in February of 2019 by Mr. Tom Tang. Um, it's also pretty close to being spot on though I think the Husky was a bit ac more accurate now looking at these numbers so they both come with that certificate that that's nice I don't recall getting that with my craftsman but that was a million years ago it's possible that I just forgot or lost it they both come with a nice carrying case and they're both pretty nice wrenches honestly nice thing about the e-torque is it has some pretty easy to read markings that indicate its range and also how it was calibrated looks at like plus or minus three percent and clockwise and plus or minus six percent counterclockwise now keep in mind six percent and a hundred foot pounds is six foot pounds so something to keep in mind I will give e-torque some points for being easier to read than the Husky so obviously that display is much bigger, it has better contrast, so. But not as fond of the ratcheting mechanism. It doesn't feel quite as fine, but that could just be my perception. I, again, I don't have a tooth count. Both seem like uh, solid torque wrenches though. So if you need one, both are pretty solid choices. Now I should have also mentioned, you can calibrate these things other ways if you don't have another torque wrench. So what you can do is you can put them in a vise Sorry, I got interrupted there for a second. So you can clamp the torque wrench in a vise like this, and what you can do, you turn this the right way, you can measure out, say a foot from here to the, a foot from here, maybe about here or so, right? And then you can hang something of a known weight from the one foot mark or whatever distance is convenient. And then what you can do is you can do the math to figure out how many foot pounds that should be exerting and make sure it clicks at that stage. So torque is force times distance. So if this is one foot, just to make the math simple, uh, and you hang something that's say 12 pounds, that's 12 foot pounds. So then it should click at the 12 mark and you have it set at 12. Um, I'm not going to do that here because again I, I haven't figured out how to calibrate this and we already know it's a little bit off by checking the brand new ones but if you don't have another torque wrench to check it against that's an easy way so again one foot say 12 foot pounds or 10 pounds and make sure it clicks and try it at several graduations you don't want to just try it at one try maybe 10 30 50 and so on 